Alan Edgehead here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury. On the last episode, we made it to the end of the stage three, and we fought Debora. Debora then found a new recruit amongst the Z Warriors, and it was Vegeta. Babidi took control over Vegeta and turned him into Majin Vegeta. Vegeta then rebelled against Babidi and wanted to fight Goku, so here we are in the process of fighting Majin Vegeta as Goku. So let's jump right back into the Majin Vegeta fight. Deborah, feel free to dispose of these fools any way you like. Perhaps you could turn them to stone. No, I have something far more painful in mind. What's this? Could it be? But so soon, I don't believe it. Oh no, we're too late. Master Bobbity, what's happening? Majin Buu is at full power! I don't understand. Goku's energy alone couldn't. Dad, das, Dad must be fighting at a level beyond Super Saiyan. Dad and Vegeta both. When two were powers like that collide with that much energy. No, how could this happen? I'm amazed, Vegeta. These last seven years in other world, I've been through the most intense training sessions, but we're still completely even. I guess the whole time you've been pushing yourself even harder than I have. It's true, I've pushed myself to the edge of my limits and beyond. But you've been born with a natural talent far beyond my own. No amount of training could have closed the gap between us. Today, as you fought Yakon, I realized that no matter how hard I tried, I would never be able to catch up to you. So that's when I secretly made up my mind. You mean, you fool! You deliberately let yourself fall under Bobbity's spell? Yes, I saw the power of Bobbity's magic as I watched that fighter Spobovich. I saw what his magic had done and realized that it could also do the same thing for me. I have to say I'm quite pleased with the results, even if they come at a price. I'd say the end more than justifies the means. Vegeta, I don't understand. You've never allowed anyone to help you before in your life. Why start now? Because I wanted Bobbity to reawaken the evil in my heart. I wanted him to return me to the way I was before. I was a perfect warrior, but slowly I started to become one of you. My quest for greatness gradually gave way to this life of mediocrity. I awoke one day to find I had settled down and formed a family. I had even gone quite fond of them. That's why I needed Bobbity. I needed him to set me free. Do you seriously believe what you're saying? Enough talk! Kakarot, we finish this now. So I probably want to be a Super Saiyan. So make this fight accurate. We have to get out of here before Boo hatches. Run! No, I have to try to stop it from hatching. Fool, we need you alive, Gohan. I have to do this. Now step aside. What are you doing? Ka me ha me ha! It's empty. How can this be? Unbelievable, Gohan. You did it. You made a fatal mistake, Bobbity, just like your father. You were fooled by overconfidence and you underestimated your opponents. Now the story of Boo finally comes to an end. Don't let that fool discourage you, Bobbity. Even without Boo, we can continue our plan. Don't you understand? Without Boo, there is no plan. Do you realize what this means, Gohan? All we have to do is take care of Bobbity and Deborah and everything will be back to normal. No, my attack wasn't strong enough to destroy the energy I felt in that egg. Something came out of that egg. But I don't sense anything. It's there in the sky! Tell me, Master, is this Majin Buu? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. I've never seen him before. The only one who has would be that annoying Kai over there. What's the deal, Supreme Kai? Is this the guy you're afraid of? Yes, that's Bibbidi's creation, no doubt. I can never forget that disgusting creature's face. Look at my face, Boo. I'm the son of Bibbidi, your creator. You can call me Master. If it wasn't for me, you would still be trapped inside that ball forever. Don't turn your back to me. What is the meaning of this? I command you to turn around. This creature is nothing but a fool. I had great hopes for Majin Buu, but this deformed thing is nothing but a waste. Grrr! 
What's wrong? Do you have a problem with what I just said? Pow, pow, pow! Ow, ow, ow! Huh? I guess Bobbity made a real mess of reviving Majin Buu. He's like an infant. No, there's been no mistake. Boo has always been this way. Pow, pow, pow! Run along, Boo, or shall I turn you into stone? Pow! <laughs> that was just fantastic. Just remember, Boo, I'm well versed in all my father's incantations. I could put you back in that ball with a phrase if you like. Wait a second, I just felt a tremendous surge of energy. While we've been fighting each other, that Boo creature must have been hatched. Boo is nothing to worry about. He may have ruled in his own time, but he's, since the Saiyans have evolved. Think about it, when we fought what the Supreme Kai said were the strongest fighters in the universe, he cons constantly underestimated our strength. You're wrong. I can feel something deeper inside Boo. Enough with your feelings. Boo is a sideshow. You're my only concern. You're just stalling because you know I can beat you. Everyone on Earth will be killed. Can't you see that? Boma, Trunks, everyone. Shut up! They're nothing to me. I have a Saiyan heart that depends on strength alone. I don't buy it. Talk all you want, but you better convince yourself of that first. Fine, you win. Our battle is postponed. You're obviously too distracted. Vegeta. Don't just stand there, Kakarot. Get out your Senzu beans. Great, with all of us working together, I'm sure that we can beat this guy. So, even Kakarot can prove helpless when his guard is down. I'll take care of Boo myself. The last thing I need is the clown claiming another victory for himself. To hold over my head, we'll finish this when I return. Enjoy your sleep! Now I must take care of Majin Boo my way. First things first, I'd better destroy that wizard spaceship. I wouldn't want them having a chance to run away. You are now playing as Vegeta. Destroy Bobbity's spaceship. Now, after all that story, we probably want to put the armbands back on Vegeta and the boots, too, so we can get all this experience. And hopefully find the area that I'm supposed to be going to. It's somewhere in this general vicinity. Southwest Forest. Here's a save point. I'm in perpetual Super Saiyan mode now. I just got another armband. I wonder if it's an armband greater than 10. Nope, it's another 10. There are armbands greater than 10. But we're in perpetual Super Saiyan. Our strength, I mean our key not decreasing at all. And I am pretty fast in this form. This is a form beyond Super Saiyan. I wonder if it still says I'm Majin Vegeta if I scan myself. Nope, Vegeta. make our way back to Bobbity's spaceship. Level up 101. We weren't Vegeta quite long enough inside Bobbity's spaceship to begin with. Some food. Let me distribute some endurance. So next time on Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury, Majin Vegeta confronts Majin Boo. See you then.